Russia has said that it has struck a tank repair plant in Ukraine's Kharkiv and they have been able to destroy the repair plant and this attack was made by Iskander missiles which Russia had targeted on this repair plant in Ukraine. Ukraine has just announced Russia's plans to attack Kharkiv very strategically because Kharkiv has already been attacked quite a number of times in the past three and a half months of the Ukraine-Russia war and at a certain point of time the attacks had stopped but the attacks have been made very strategically. It was attacked for some time on a continuous basis then it stopped all of a sudden then a couple of attacks were made and then the attacks stopped. Now just when Ukraine's official have given out a word that Russia is advancing towards Kharkiv and will start attacking Kharkiv. A tank repair plant has been already attacked with Iskander missiles and Russia has revealed this that they have attacked with these high-tech Iskander missiles. Let us not forget that Firstly, Ukraine is running short on weapons, which is why they are facing so much of casualties in Ukraine. And secondly, Russia has high-tech weapons, not just the ones that they are using, but also extremely dangerous weapons that they have not used so far in the attacks. But they can start using them at any point of time. Russia's strategy keeps on changing and the attacks that are being made in the Ukrainian country are done with great precision and every time their plans change, every time they have a different strategy, we see that high-tech weapons are being used by the Russian troops. So let us not forget that Russia has dangerous to extremely dangerous weapons which so far they haven't used in the war but they can use them at any point of time let us not forget that and Ukraine right now is in an extremely critical position where they have run out of weapons and USA and Ukraine have been able to partially help them out with weapons and have said that they will keep on helping them till the time they can. However, all those military aid is still not being sufficient for the Ukrainian troops. Let's just hope things will get better with time. But Russia is also not giving up. And they might say that they want to sit down and have a talk with Ukraine. Ultimately, it is Russia that wants to keep on going with the war it's not ukraine ukraine wants to stop but not at the cost of giving up their land which russia wants president zelensky has said that he wants to stop the war but not at the cost of giving up the land so it's russia who is more interested in destroying ukraine in spite of them saying that they want a peace talk to happen between the two countries. Stay updated with it. Thank you.